So in today's video, we're talking about the budgets that a customer might have for lead generation. Yeah. So Dan, why is it important that we ask this question for the customer to say, what is your current budget that you're willing to spend per month? Yeah, so it's something we obviously discuss quite a bit, isn't it? When we're trying to, you know, onboard new clients and discussing with new clients, um, you know, the, the, the sites that we can build for them and the lead generation we can build for them is, you know, actually knowing their budget to begin with is really, really important. Uh, it's We're not trying to probe companies to work out, you know, exactly what they're spending the money on everything like that obviously the more transparent you are with us the more helpful it is you know for us and our lead generation so if you're able to tell us obviously if you're spending money on places like bark and, and, and you know the yellow pages check a trade things like that it's really good for us to just know okay this is what their market strategy looks like right now this is what we can do to actually help and you know actually maximize your profits you know and get you better inquiries than what you're currently getting um, not only that, obviously, if, if a company is willing to invest a lot more money into, you know, monthly payments for us for our websites, what we're able to then do is obviously look at it from a perspective of we can put more money into the site for you. Uh, we can prioritize your site and move it to the top of the queue and actually look to kind of build more backlinks and build more content for that site to just get you better quality inquiries and better quantity of inquiries as well. So the budget is almost a tool for us just to help implement what we want to on the site, isn't it? And actually help the clients out really more so than the prod around. Yeah, for sure. I think another big part of it is that no disrespect to the people who might be starting out who's only got a £50 or £100 a month budget, but this won't work for us. So we need to be making certain that they've got a significant amount of a budget yeah. for it to work for us both as both companies. So for us, where we're at is that if it's got a higher budget than what we anticipated, we could build two, three, four, even five different websites going after different types of keywords that might be the same product. Yeah. Um, also, if a customer was going in to buy a new car, or to buy a car, sorry, and they'd go to a forecourt, the first question that they get asked is, how much have you got to spend? And the reason why they ask that question is because what they'll do is then, if they say they've only got a £6,000 budget, well, you can't buy a brand new car for £6,000. So then they would take you straight away to the second-hand cars yeah. that they're looking to sell. If they turn around and say, I'm looking for a supercar and I've got a £250,000 budget, they're not then going to take you to the second hand Ford Fiesta, so to speak. Yeah. So it's being able to understand where you are at, at present. And it's a very important question. And, and what I find frustrating at times is some business owners find it like we're being rude in asking that question. But actually, also what it does is it just allows us to be able to tailor and create a, a custom campaign for them. We guarantee a return on investment. I think this is the most important part of it, that we need to vet you as a customer to see whether you're good enough to take our leads because it's us that's taking all the risk. We guarantee you the return on investment. So for us, we need to understand your budget to see whether is this going to work for us as a company that's going to be putting a lot of money in up front to get the campaigns generating the leads to see whether... Is this going to work and how quickly can we expand on the second, the third, the fourth site? Or how many blogs can we do on the app, on, on the website? How many backlinks can we build? Like you said, what quantity of leads we're able to build them? Yeah. Plus it shows a little bit of how ambitious are you as a customer to be wanting to grow? Because if you've got two vans on the road and you only want two or three vans on the road maximum then maybe it's not, you're not the right customer for us. We want an ambitious business owner that wants to grow. We generate them more leads, they, their business grows, they make more profit, and we just get a percentage of those profits yeah. that we can negotiate of what we think is fair. Um, but all this, is degree, all this is agreed prior to building out the sites, and they're obviously happy with whatever the agreement is, otherwise they'll say, no, this yeah. isn't going to work for us. But for us initially, I think... The initial budgets is important for us to know one where you're spending money at present and where can we where can we might hopefully be able to generate you a higher return on investment than where you're spending money existingly. But also too, we don't want you to put hundred percent of your advertising and marketing budgets just solely into us. We think it is quite good for you to have diversification that you might be still spending some money with Check a Trade or Bark or another lead generation company or PPC or SEO, they're all good platforms for you to be gener trying to generate your own inquiries as well, where we can bolster and start adding existing inquiries to what you're already spending. In time, what seems to happen is a lot of customers 
who are spending money on SEO and PPC and another lead generation company normally end up wanting to spend more money with us because, again, we guarantee the return on investment, which is very, very important for you to understand. And it's an amazing USP, but it's very risky for us. And then we've got to try to make certain that you're the right company to take our leads, turn those leads into profit, and then at that point, we get paid. But until you make a profit, you pay zero. So it becomes risky on our front. Yeah. So I don't know if there's anything else you want to add on to that. I just want to say as well, yeah, that it kind of just really saying what you were saying in terms of we're trying to maximize your budget. What we don't want to do is get your budget and think, right, what can we, how can we kind of make as much money as we can out of you? How can we get all of that budget for ourselves? That's really not the case. And as James was saying there, if you have successful kind of avenues with, you know, checker trade and PPC campaigns and things like that, if they're doing well for you as it is, for, you know, by all means, keep doing that. It'd be silly to obviously move it all over to us. However, on the other side, we have our clients, haven't we, that have had, you know, uh, you know, uh, quite unsuccessful campaigns with Checker Trade and PPC, and then they've seen what we do, and they've said, you know what, we'll put 100% into you guys, and we'll keep growing out from there. So the, different clients require different things, and different clients have different budgets, which we obviously respect and understand. And I think for our, on our side, we just want that transparency, don't we, to know where are you at as a company, you know, how ambitious are you, what you're currently spending your money on, and get that kind of holistic picture of what they're doing, and then obviously we can then implement what we do based off of that knowledge, really. So that's kind of how all I really wanted to add to it, really. Yeah, I think the last part is that if ever we're uncertain about the niche or uncertain about whether you've got a strong enough brand serp yourself online, but we might ask you for some money up front for a website, minimal, maybe 500, 1,000 pounds, something like that. Some, some we might not. We might go, this niche is brilliant. We think that you've got great branding online and we know that you will convert these leads very well. And in those instances, we might not ask for anything up front. But if ever we did ask for a penny up front, that sits as a balance and as a credit system. And that credit system means until you've made that money back and more in profit, you do not pay us a single penny more. I think mean, that's very important for the next few emails of we're trying to vet you as a customer to see whether you're good enough to take our leads is some we might not ask for anything. Some we might say, look, for this to be built out properly, you might need to put something in because where this might be the case is it might cost us 15, 20,000 pound to build out a website in so the, the actual website only costs maybe 50 pound. And I think people go, 15,000, I can get it done for 100 pound. The website itself is 50 pound. The content then costs a few hundred pounds and then it's strengthening that and building that trust online for Google to say that you are the best in whatever service or product that you do, which is done via a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different ranking factors to get to where we want to get to, but it costs to build the engine to get the rankings quite a lot of money. So sometimes we might say, we want something up front to show, show some sort of commitment from our customer, but if they're willing to pay that, then we go, okay, these are serious about taking this on to another level, and it sits as a balance, you pay zero extra on top of that until you've started yeah. to make the return on investment on there. And I think, I think the biggest USP, like I said, for us is the, the guaranteed return on investment. If we, for some reason, couldn't generate any leads and you paid 500 pound, that £500 would get refunded. Yeah. Luckily, we've never had to do that yet, and we've always been able to find a way to find a niche where they can make profit and earn, earn like I said, earn some money out of it, and then yeah. it works both ways. Yeah, well, we've been doing this for over 10 years now as well, so that kind of experience and know-how in terms of how to rank in Google, you know, obviously, like as James said, it doesn't come free. Um, it does mean that we have to put a lot of money and time and effort into understanding how do we rank the specific website for this industry and really looking at the SERP and everything like that. And, you know, that, that does take a lot of work on our end. So as we said, the building of the website isn't the most expensive part. It's everything that comes after, after that with all the rankings and, you know, actually putting in the, the effort to rank it in Google organically. So that's where we, you know, that's where our craft is. That's where our experience is. We prefer obviously to just kind of leave that part up to us and just kind of get that bill out. But obviously sometimes that does require a bit of a payment from you up front to show that intent and obviously give us that kind of backing to actually then, you know, go and implement what we want to implement for the site. One other part of it too is that um, if we do end up agreeing that we will work with you and try to build out this lead generation model is we will ask you quite a lot of questions, but these questions you need to be making certain that you're seeing it from our point of view that we want to make certain we're only marketing for your most profitable services and products. 
we like ask if you've got any photos or videos of your jobs um, and stuff like that because we want to try to make certain that exactly the terms that we're going after is the stuff where you make the profit. Obviously, we don't get paid unless you make profit. It's simple as that. So we've got to be making certain that we're choosing the exact sub products that makes you most profits, which then means we can get something out of it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you can reply with what budgets you have, where you're spending money at, at present, and hopefully we can take this on to another level.